Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Daniel and in this video I'll be introducing you to Zen Studio's Cloud Connected Mobile tool. This feature enables developers to easily build end-to-end -end mobile applications that span platforms and operation systems, evolve over time and pull from multiple data sources. Specifically, Cloud Connected Mobile allows you to create, manage and publish PHP RESTful web services to the cloud, create a mobile web user interface using HTML5 and JavaScript, and bind mobile web UI widgets with RESTful services, and generate and test native projects for iOS, Android, and Windows Phone platforms. So let's get started. Our first step will be to create a new Cloud Connected Mobile project in our workspace. To do this, I'm going to go to the menu bar and select File, New, Cloud Connected Mobile Project. I'm now going to name my new client-side mobile project which contains my mobile application and configure the server-side project that contains all the RESTful services. The target drop-down menu already contains a list of defined targets for deployment, so I'm just going to pick one. In this case, a Zen Developer Cloud target. But if I needed to define a new target, this could easily be done by clicking the Add Target link. Clicking Next leads me to the Templates dialog. Here I can select from a number of different templates, each with different content and code packages. In this tutorial, we're going to pick the simple RESTful service template, as it contains some examples of how to consume native mobile APIs in our mobile project, and on the server side, Example implementation of exposed web services. Our new cloud connected mobile project is created and both projects appear in the PHP Explorer. The client side mobile project and the server side RESTful API project. Let's begin with working with the server side project. By default, the gateway XML file is opened and displayed in the editor, and this graphic editor is used to configure APIs. The template we picked already includes one defined route to work with, the Get Customers route. I'm going to double click it to view its details. We have a URL, an HTTP method type, and the handler, the PHP code to be executed. You can click the handler to view the PHP code. Routes can be tested by right-clicking and selecting Test Route, which opens the Test Route view. But before a route can be tested, the project needs to be deployed. To do this, I'm going to open the Deployment XML file and click the Deploy PHP Application link. My target's already listed here, so I'm just going to click Finish. Now that we've deployed our project, let's test our get customers route. You can see that the URL in the test view has been automatically filled with the name of our target, project, and the get customers method. I'm going to now send out the request and hopefully receive an OK response. Exploring the response details, we can see a list of the customers returned from the PHP methods. Now let's add a new route for adding new customers. To do this, I'm simply going to drag and drop one from the palette on the right. In the dialog that displays, I'm going to name the new route add, select the post method, and as a handler, I'm going to select an existing class named customers data and the add PHP method. I'm 
Before testing the newly added route, we're going to add some values to the predefined parameters. Since we have the new route selected in the editor, the URL field is filled accordingly. Retesting our get method we can see that the new user has been returned correctly. Using the drag and drop feature I'm now going to add some validation to our API. In the display dialog we can see that our request parameters are listed. I'm going to add validation to the name parameter. I'm now going to click Add Validator and select the Alpha Validator from the list to allow only alphabetical characters to be submitted. After saving the gateway, let's see if the validation works by submitting a faulty value for the name parameter and testing the route. We can also add a validation filter, for example, if you would like to filter all non-alphabetical characters. Now let's move to working on our mobile application in a client-side project. When we created our cloud-connected mobile project, the mobile app GUI file was opened and is basically a graphic editor for designing a mobile user interface. In this case, the device simulator is displaying some of the code included in the template we selected when creating the project. But as I mentioned earlier, you can also start a project from scratch. The editor is also based on the drag and drop feature making it very easy to quickly add and configure widgets in your mobile user interface and bind them to different pages in the application or APIs on the server side. I'm now going to add a tab bar widget to our index opening screen, create some new pages and link them to the tab bar. At any time, using the toolbar, you can preview your design work, change the settings of the device simulator, or rotate it. Once you feel ready to test your development work, you can run the application on a web mobile emulator. To do this, right-click the mobile project in the PHP Explorer and select Run As Web Mobile Application. The final stage in this tutorial is converting our mobile project into a native application, in this case a Windows Phone native application, and running it on the Windows Phone emulator.
Please note that to do this, you will need to install the Windows Mobile SDK. In our mobile application project, I'm going to open the config XML file. In the native applications area, I'm going to select the Create Windows Phone Application link. Our new native application is created and appears in the PHP Explorer. Right-clicking the native application in the PHP Explorer, I can select to open the project in Microsoft's Visual Studio. In this case, I'm going to run the application on the Windows Phone emulator. and I'm going to do this by selecting Run As Windows Phone Application. In addition to Windows Phone, Zen Studio allows you to create native applications for the iOS and Android platforms. For more information on developing mobile applications for these platforms and additional cloud-connected mobile features, please refer to the Zen Studio online documentation at www.zen.com.